Question 21. So, to start off with, let's just draw ourselves a triangle. So we've got R, P, Q. We know that R, P is 8.7. We know that P, Q is 5.2. And we know that P, R, Q, so that's this one, is 32. So we need to work out the area, but we need to know more information. Now, I can use sine rule, because I've got opposite side there. So I can use the sine rule to work out this angle here, right? angle RQP. Um, it also tells me it's assuming that this is an acute angle, but we'll come back to that a little bit later on. So we need to use sine rule. So we're trying to find the angle. So the sine of Q over the opposite side, over 8.7, is equal to the sine of 32 over 5.2. So if we work this out, multiply it by the 8.7, and then we're going to inverse sine that. So we should find out that angle Q from there is equal to 62.4 degrees. And a, and a little bit there, make sure that you carry it through correctly. Okay, so how's that helping us? Well, yeah, okay, that's great I know that one. But I really want to know this one so I can do the area. Because remember, the area is going to be a half multiplied by 5.2 multiplied by 8.7 multiplied by the sine of this angle here right because you've got the the two sides around the angle so we need to know this angle in here well it's just angles in a triangle i know this one and I know this one, add them up, take them away from 180, and you'll get that this angle is 85.5 uh, and a little bit more. So if we pop that into here, and we get the area ends up being 22.6 centimetres squared. Now that was probably the easiest way of doing that question. It's not the only way of doing the question, right? You could have could have even chucked some cosine rule in there and worked out that side and worked out with a different angle. Um, I think that would have made life a little bit harder, though. Right, so part B. So if we didn't know that that angle was acute, well, let's say if it was obtuse, for example, well, what would happen? Well, if it was obtuse, then it would make quite a big difference, wouldn't it? Because, therefore, angle P, this other angle, would be a lot smaller. So, therefore, if the angle was obtuse, it would reduce the area. It would have an effect of reducing the area. And there are two possible answers.